Hey y'all, hey. How you doing? <laughs> Ride home with auntie. Child, today was another day. Well, one day closer to Friday. I hope you all had a wonderful day. This is a blessed day. Um, child, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. I'm going to try to make it as quick as I can because I only have 10 minutes. Um, well, uh, as the as I was wrapping up my work day, I was listening to Kevin Hart's Gold Mines, Gold, G-O-L-D, Mines, M-I-N-D, I think it is. Even It could be gold as in G-O-A-L, like reaching a goal, but I don't know. I, you know, I just ran across it and it had a guest on there that I thought I didn't like at one point. I didn't think I liked her um, because she had this southern draw and she just gave me, she reminded me of the fake church folk. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't think I liked her. <laughs> okay? Um, but come to find out I really like her and I like what she talks about in her messages um, she's truly gifted with the gift of hearing and 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 clairvoyance um, and God has given her the gift of vision so who is this person I'm talking about Tabitha Brown and we was like, who doesn't like Tabitha Brown? Well, at first, you know, it, it, it was linked to church hurt. Because church folk is the most phony people you'll ever meet. And I'm telling you because I was one of those people. I'm still saved and born again. And I do things that I, I believe the church, not his church, but the church the religious construct would not agree with. But, hey, I don't follow a construct. I am a friend of the Lord. My, my God is my best friend. You know, my dad, my guidance, my, my everything, really. Um, you wouldn't think that I don't know what, whoever. So I was watching that. And she was telling her story and I was so inspired. But it really wasn't, I was inspired. I want to want that. And um, for myself, like she had this vision. She always knew what she always wanted to do. She, she hears God's voice that guided her. What I love the most about this interview with Kevin Hart was she admitted, and I'm pretty sure she's done it before, she admitted that there was a time where she felt like God had forgotten her. You know what I'm saying? And I went through that last year. And unfortunately, I, I lost some people because they didn't understand. You know, that, okay, she, she really had forgotten that God is on her side. And how blessed she is. And we oftentimes forget that. But, and it's a normal thing, people. It's normal. Your saints, those people that go to church, the construct, or they are the church, the true church, um, we're still human. And we still mess up. And we still make bad decisions. And we still, we, we haters. There's there's haters in church yeah we were supposed to be receive everybody with love but we don't always I don't always I was I was once that judgmental person who felt like I was better than the sinner when I was just one faith away from being a sinner myself if it wasn't for Jesus if it wasn't for my mother raising me in the church number one number two God being with me, because I'd rather my mom raise me in the church or not, I feel like God would have still come to me just like he's come to every single person. Uh, every pe person. The word of God said that every man will have an opportunity to receive him. 
Okay? So if you say, I no one come to me, use a lie. Use a lie. And your breath stink. I can smell it through the camera. Okay? So I was so inspired by her story and wanted it for myself. But the person I was really more inspired, you know, the voice I heard was for somebody else. The, what, what God told me, told me something for somebody else. I'm like, well, but what about me, Jesus? What, you know, I'm out here trying to do this social media thing. I, I have great ideas. What about me? What about me? But, you know, I guess in due time, I may be, maybe he don't need to tell me anything because I am walking, I'm, I'm in my purpose as we speak. Or I'm on my way on my purpose, like I'm already on the path. And I don't, I guess he don't need to tell me to go back here. I'm, I just, you know what? Y'all just experienced a download. It just happened because it's like, what about me? And then it's like, well, maybe I don't need to tell you anything because you are currently on the path. Okay. So I don't need to guide you back because you're there. Oh, child. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Mm. I said, now go and tell who I told you about what I told you to tell them. Hello. <laughs> but that part. So I was really inspired by that. And I'm constantly inspired by Tabitha Brown. And I now know that ain't nothing but the enemy trying to separate me from some good messages and that God brings through Tabitha. And I appreciate that she's obedient to our Heavenly Father, her Heavenly Father, my Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father, and she does what she's told to do. Okay? Hello? Amen? Anyway, um, the last thing that I might continue into the next one because I'm getting close to my time to be over, um, was kind of telling y'all about uh, San Diego. San Diego... And the floodings that's going on in San Diego, I have family members. My sister-in-law and my brother lives in San Diego. So when I heard about the flooding, I instantly was calling my, I was calling my sister-in-law because my brother don't answer his phone. It would be a shocker. Look, they would have been affected if my brother answered the phone. Matter of fact, he might have called me. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, um, but I called her because I know that she will answer and I'll get more effective answers because I feel, you know, she's more thorough with whatever. Anyway, moving on. And um, she was saying to me that, like, she lives in San Diego. Her, her and my brother live in San Diego. And they're not in... They're like suburban, upper, I guess, class area. And she said, no. I said, we're not affected. It, the flooding only affected the poor areas or the inner city areas in San Diego. And they're claiming that the poor people are clogging the drainage system instead of taking, taking. Now, now this is allegedly, allegedly that they're saying that it was, it's poor people. They're clogging the drainage system instead of just admitting that the city isn't properly maintaining the drainage systems in the poor area. Okay. If this be true, really San Diego, really? Okay. So for the last minute, I just want, or last 50 minutes, let me say a quick prayer for our, uh, the lower class San Diegans. Holy Spirit, I just come to you and I just ask you to help those that's in San Diego in the poor areas, Lord God. Bless them. Get them out of them and recoup what they've lost. In Jesus' name, amen. I will go further, but I want y'all to be in on it. Say your own prayer. Pass this video on to someone else and let them know that the poor people in San Diego are being treated like crap. That's it. Bye. See you next time on Ride Home with Auntie. Like, share, and subscribe.